Hi YouTube. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to give administrative level privileges to standard users. So let's say you work in an organization or an office and there are several users that need root level privileges. So what you can do is that you can share the root level uh, or the, the root password. But the problem with sharing it is that then there is no accountability. You don't know who uses that command for what or who uses this root password for what. So that way you cannot differentiate that who run this command, who run the other command. Uh, so another way of doing it is to give root level or administrative level privileges to those particular users that need it. So in order to do that, what you have to do is that you have to put those users in the wheel group. So wheel group, let me first open the terminal in here. So in here, uh, if I type in list Etsy group, So in here you can see that there is this group called the wheel. Currently we can see that there are no users in here. So it means that currently this uh, group is empty. So this wheel user, so any person who is a member of this wheel group, they have uh, administrative level privileges. So what they can do is that they can run root level commands from their users. So they don't need to know the uh, root password. So in here, if I type in su with a hyphen and press enter, it asks me for a password. So this is the password for the root user. So let me type in the password in here. So now you can see that it says root. Previously in here, it said user. So uh, the name of my current user is user. So I was logged in as the user, user. Now I am logged in as the user root because I switched my user. So now uh, if you type in vice sudo, this is a file that we uh, also, you can uh, configure this file to add um, users to these uh, to add users to to add to give permissions to the users or or how do I say it? So you can use this file to give administrative level privileges to users so by using aliases. What you can do is that you can add users to this file, and this will allow you to uh, add those users or give those users administrative level privileges. But I'm not going to go over that in this tutorial. So for this tutorial, I will just keep it simple and I will show you guys how to add users to the wheel group. So in here, you can see that when I open this file, uh, at the beginning of it, it says Studios allows particular users to run various commands as the root user without needing the root password. So this is good because you don't have to share the root password. Now, if I scroll down um, at the end of the file, uh, so in here you can see that uh, this there is this line in here that says uh, allows people and group wheel to run all commands. So what this means is that all the users and this wheel group. So this is the group that uh, I'm talking about. So what it says is that all the users in this group they can. So there are these uh, three all in here that we can see all all and all. So what this means is that these users who are member of the wheel group they can log in as any user from any machine and they can run any command. So uh, using this, um, adding users to this group allows the user to type in any command from any terminal and log in as any user. So now if I quit from here, so let me quit. So what we do is that we um, add users to this group. Now the first thing that we do is that uh, let's say, let's create a users. So what you can do is that you can give, you, know, you can add the user to this real group when you're creating the user. But if you have already created a user and you want to add a user uh, to this group, uh, wheel group, it doesn't matter. I will show you guys both ways of doing it. So first, what we do is that let's create a user and add that user to the wheel group. So the command for that is user add. And after that, what we can do is that we can type in the name of the group. So this G option in here specifies the group. So the name of the group in this case is wheel. After that, we type in the name for this user. So let's say it's Tom. Now let's quickly specify a password for Tom. So to this message says uh, this file is part of a dictionary word. Doesn't matter. I'm going to delete this account anyways. This is just for demonstration purposes. So now um, this user, I have created Tom. So how do you add this to the wheel group? It's simple. What you have to do is that, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, we have already made this user part of this uh, wheel group. So if I do a less etc group and I open this file, now you can see that the wheel group, it has this user called Tom. So this Tom is now part of this wheel group.
now let's uh, let's say that we create a user but we don't uh, uh, assign this wheel a group to that user so let's say user at jerry let's quickly give a password to jerry uh, let's type in the password so in here um, the your password has been created now this user is not part of this uh, wheel group so in here you can see that jerry is not part of it so how do we add this now what we do is that we use this user mode command so what it does is that it modifies this group now we say user mode a so this a is so that the if this user is previously part of some other groups it doesn't change it then we use the g option and after that uh, we specify the name of the group so g specifies the group to which we want to add this user which in this case is um, wheel after that we type in the name of the user which was jerry now uh, if we open this file now you can see that the wheel group it has two users attached to it tom and jerry now let me uh, log out from this shell so previously you can see that in here as i was root now i'm again uh, as the user called user now what i can do is that i can change my user so su uh, what it does is that it switches user so let's say i want to go uh, and log in as user tom so let me specify type in the password and uh, in here what you can do is that in order to see whether you have administrative level privileges or not so if i do something like sudo if config so let me first show the interfaces so sudo if config it shows me all the interfaces so in here this is my uh, ethernet interface which is enp 0 s3 so what i want to do is that i want to bring this interface up currently it's down so in order to do that i need administrative level privileges because if i do if config np 0 s3 up it says operation not permitted so what we have to do is that we have to type in sudo so if i type in sudo if config np 0 s3 and then up so you can see that it asks me for password so in here it says that password for tom so let's type in the password for tom so I'm just if I press enter now you can see that I was able to perform that command this time it did not say that operation not permitted now I have been able to bring up that interface so this interface is currently up and what uh, this sudo did uh, it allowed us to run this user as, uh, as a root user and you can see that in here it prompted me for not for the root user root password it asked me for the user uh, for the password of the user tom with which i'm currently logged in even though you're currently logged in as user uh, tom whenever you're using a sudo to run a, a command what it does is that it prompts you for the password it's a security feature of linux which is quite good and now if i say logout and if i type in um, switch user and then jerry so basically they are both the same they can perform operations and when jerry logs in uh, i'll from any studio operation so what jerry has to do is that jerry has to type in his own password not tom's password but his own password in this way what you can do is that this allows you greater flexibility because then you can monitor those logs and see what which you uh, what which user has done uh, instead of sharing a password this is a lot better and uh, uh, if you have any questions any suggestions or recommendations uh, you can feel free uh, feel free to put it in the comment section below and if there is any particular topic that you want me to cover um, put that in the comment section uh, below as well uh, i hope you found this tutorial educative and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one